Hello everybody and welcome to My Fox. An interesting game? Application. Art piece, I guess. It's a desktop background with interactivity. As you can see, I'm just going through the menus here and yes, this is taking place on my desktop. You can see all of my icons. I didn't see any reason to hide them all. So, let's first watch the cutscene. So this is where we select a little fox that we're going to pick. I decided to go for the little fennec fox coloured one. Controls are a little finicky. With it being the desktop background, I had to use my left mouse button, click it, and drag, sort of swipe, and then click and swipe. Took a little bit of getting used to, and I wasn't quite sure if it was working or not. The feedback wasn't very good. But after a while, I worked out that worked. So you will see in a minute, I managed to scare the bear away. Nice big victory roar. But everybody else has left. So this little fox is all on his own. <coughs> Poor thing. The animation is just gorgeous. Now you get to name them. And I chose to name this little one, well, very inventive, Fennec. As you can see there. If you hover over your fox, it will come up with these uh, status bars. So you've got hunger at the top, tiredness in the middle, and then how much it loves you on the bottom. There are a few other little buttons that will allow you to do little interactions as well as open up the uh, systems. So how quiet or how loud you want the music and such. But have a look at the background. This. This is generally the gameplay. You are watching the fox just 
traveling around this beautiful environment. The little sound effects of the walking on the soil, the pathway to the grass is different and it's a nice little switch. The lighting is just beautiful. So, I say game, this is a desktop background and in general you're expected to sort of have this going on in the background while you're doing other stuff, so browsing the internet, uh, doing uh, searches, uh, maybe working on artwork or um, putting together a document or something. It's just something to have going on in the background that you don't really need to focus on much. There is a day and night system so here you can see we have transition to more evening time. Hunger's getting a little low but it's very difficult to push your fox to go anywhere much more than a few. You can click to show where you want it to go in the uh, icons, but I'll show you that in a little bit later. Just listen to the voice, the sound changes here. Oh, going on to the wooden bridge. So yeah, this is just something to have on in the background while you're doing other stuff and you can just check in every so often. Now it will take care of its own needs, so you can see Phoenix getting tired here, so they take a nap. Little yawn. And the music quiets down. The fox will actually grow up over time. Um, over a course of two and a half hours, it was still a cub, um, and we did pass through seasons as well. I uh, hear it. Little Fennec is chasing after a rabbit. Now you can actually help with this if you swipe across, like you did with the bear, you can actually knock the rabbit down so that the fox can get hold of it. One rabbit will feed your fox all the way till full. Now here's a little collectible. I couldn't tell the fox to go there directly, but he already knew that that was something to get and he will actually bark when he finds something interesting and give you a pop-up as you saw to see if you want to interact with it. Now these little keys, they're used to open chests which I will show you later on. Though what the chests actually do I'm not 100% sure. Going in for a little drink. Yeah, it's just a beautiful, relaxing game. Let's just watch. You can see the keys actually in the item bar now. Oh, that swimming animation is just gorgeous. So here you'll see I'm able to third one along, third one for the left, little button, pick a location, and this little icon comes up, and I can select where I want little fennec to go. This actual interaction is very fiddly. You can't do it constantly. There's like a little cooldown um, and it's a little frustrating to get to work but at the same time as the developer says this is a wild creature and it's not always going to listen to you so um, you can nudge it in where you want it to go. There's no stamina bar, you don't need to worry about it. You actually don't need, even need to worry about the food. They won't die or anything like that. They just won't listen to you as much. So here's out in the light. So as you can see, the food bar is completely empty, but you don't need to worry about that. Now, one of these other icons will allow you to pet your fox. Again, took me a little while to work out how to do this properly, but it's done the same way as a swipe, so you hold down the left mouse button and just uh, drag it wherever you want it to go. So you'll see me 
get the right combination in a minute. So just holding the button down doesn't work. You have to do it click and drag, click and drag. So here you go, click, drag, and it jumps off. You can get it to do a few little tricks. I haven't found them all out, but yeah, if you do the right sort of combination, you can get little bits and pieces. I have seen you can get it to uh, offer its paw. But I haven't worked that one out yet. Yes, uh, it's just cute. Uh, this game is, for me, it's two pounds fifty or something like that. It's it's very very cheap. So if you just want something cute, relaxing, simple, uh, here you go. I've just thrown a ball. You can actually find lots of different balls for the fox anyway in the environment, and they will. Pick it up and play with it and offer it you to throw it to them and that will raise up their happiness. Here's where I found uh, a chest. So you can hear the music's changed slightly. Now the again the movement's not quite where you want to tell it to go. It's very difficult to actually know exactly where you're sending it. Uh, but I did manage to, to get it back onto the actual chest with a very quick click. So yeah, the chest opens up and we have a colour shift in the environment. It goes to this very, very vibrant colours. It doesn't last very long. And in the inventory, when you hover over the fox, as you can see, there is a pink circle instead of the key there now. I do later on find another key, uh, a different colour, and I do unlock another chest, and again, I get another little circle of that. You can see here we're getting to a sort of an autumn. Now there are other animals around and one of them, the crows, oh they're so mean. If you go anywhere near the crows they will start swooping down and attacking your poor little fox. Sometimes even two of them at the same time. So far I've yet to find out how to deter them away or knock them down or anything. You've just got to endure them <coughs> until they've left you alone. Here we're in winter. And yeah, there's not really much more to show you. Check it out yourself, see what you think. It's really cheap. There's also My Wolf, which is sort of like the older sister of this. Similar gameplay. There's even My Farm, where you're actually controlling your own farm on there. So I'll leave a link in the description and see what you think. <laughs>